Welcome back to the Malt Miller YouTube channel, homebrewers. In this video, we are looking at next generation testing equipment brought to you by Anton Parr, and we're specifically going to be looking at Easy Dens and Smart Ref. So Martin, for anybody that is watching this that hasn't heard of Anton Parr or the products that we're going to be looking at today, who are Anton Parr? So James, Anton Parr, they're a lab equipment producer, they're based in Austria. You know, if you go to any decent sized professional brewery, they're going to have stuff there to test their batches, test the ABV, test the gravities. It's always there in their lab. Yeah, and it's specifically lab, really high quality equipment that they produce, right? Yeah, definitely. Now they've gone and produced two devices which you can use on small scale brewing you know, and home brewing. Now these are built to the same quality as the things you will find in any professional brewery. But what they've done is they've cut some of the costs out by linking it to your home device. Oh, okay, so linking it to like a smartphone or a tablet. So there's no screen technology built into the device. Exactly, so this is feeding the data to your device so then you can take the readings on that. Yeah, and actually what's really interesting is since we started stocking these, we've been talking to some of our partners out in the commercial world, some of the yeast labs we, we have partnerships with uh, to find out about their experience using these size of devices from Anton Parr. And they've been doing tests against their really expensive versions of the equipment and been getting exactly the same results. It's exactly the same equipment inside. The only difference being is you're linking it to your device so you're using the screen on that rather than building a screen into the equipment. Yeah, nice. Right, well let's jump now into the two devices that we're going to be talking about today. One which is Easy Dens, which Martin's got there, and this one here which is the Smart Ref. So let's start by taking a closer look at Easy Dens. Now, if you are an avid watcher of our videos, you will have seen that I've used this in some of our um, brewing projects we've done recently. We also did a hydrometer comparison video, which you can check out up here, where we lined up kind of all of the different hydrometer options that are available. So we have had quite a bit of experience using the Easy Dens, but if this is your first time having a look at this, Martin, what is Easy Dens? Simple terms, it is an electronic hydrometer. You know, and what it's going to do is it's going to take readings of the sugar content of the liquid you push through there using sound waves. Right, so it's measuring the density. Yes. Right, so you can use it on any liquid throughout the brewing process to get a gravity reading. Correct, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't just need to be kind of pre-fermentation, you can actually take gravity readings all the way through the process. Even on the finished beer, James, as long as you degas it, you can get a reading from it. But the big benefit here really is that you are getting those lab accurate results of your gravity readings. And unlike a glass hydrometer, you haven't got the hassle of trying to read the reading, you know, trying to spot where the meniscus is. Trying to avoid the bubbles. Yeah, taking a big sample, you know, in a lot of cases, you've got to take 100, 200, maybe 250 mil this samples. 10 mils, James. Yeah, so it's actually a really good way to cut down the amount of beer that you're sampling throughout the brewing process, especially if you're somebody that likes to take readings all the way through, log those readings because you can log those in the app as well against the batch that you're brewing and see exactly where your beer is during the fermentation process. Yeah, you can record this in the app so you can keep a log of everything you've done. The other great thing about this is, you know, you could actually share this with other people. If you're in a homebrew group, yeah, yeah. you could actually all use the same device. The app doesn't lock it down to one individual person. All you have to do is download the free app on the app store and link up to the device and you can save your own results on there. And the display is really nice and clear as well. It's a really big kind of presentation of both the gravity, but also it tells you about the temperature of the sample as well that you're using, which is a nice handy little extra to have. So it's very clever, very convenient, you get your sample results in literally seconds as well. So it's it, I've been really impressed using it for a while now in the brews that I've used it with. Should we move on to Smart Ref? Yeah, because at the moment you've only had the chance to use this on its own, but now we've got Smart Ref as well. Yeah. This combined with it gives you a whole new range of things you can look at on your brews and beer. 
this is really cool because as a standalone bit of kit, it works the same as a refractometer. It works with the uh, Anton Parr's Brewmeister app as well, the same as the um, Easy Dens does. So this works on pre-fermentation work. Now there are ways to calculate gravity based on the reading that you get through a refractometer during fermentation, but it involves using calculators, it could be less accurate, and actually in this instance you're using lab quality equipment, so you want accuracy, right? But the Smart Ref again is a really handy tool for when you are looking at, you know, brew day, you're maybe tracking your conversion through the mash, you're checking your pre-boil gravity, you're checking your gravity throughout the boil to see whether you need to look at like more boil off, all of that kind of stuff. So you can make those on the fly adjustments that a refractometer gives you over a hydrometer. What we're really excited about though, Martin, is when you use both of them together because you can actually pair both of these in the app together and get some very specific and unique results by doing so. So James, the really exciting thing that you're kind of alluding to here is that what you can do is when you pair these two devices together on the app, you can take joint readings and you can actually get the ABV of your beer. I know, right? And this is so cool. And when we've done it, again, it's just been so quick and amazing to see. So in the app, you have the option to connect both devices. You take a sample of beer during fermentation, at the end of fermentation, whatever it may be. You put a sample through Easy Dens yep. and you put a sample into Smart Ref. You hit go and it gives you both the gravity of the finished beer, but also gives you that ABV to that lab accurate level. And that means you don't have to have a recording of what the original gravity was to work it all out. No, so... You on know, the spot, uh, on the fly, you can just tell yeah. on whatever liquid you're putting in there. Exactly. And, you know, that has some really good, um, really good results or really good implications for small scale commercial breweries. So when they're logging the ABV of their beers, they're logging all of the information they have to submit to HMRC for duty purposes. You know, they've got lab accurate results on a very small scale. But for the homebrew, it just provides you even more information about your fermentation, about the beer you're brewing, and removes all of that guesswork and having to do calculations in various different online calculators or using a separate app, instantly you can tell what the gravity is and what the ABV is, which is so cool. I think we should probably jump in to showing people how to operate these devices because it's an absolute doddle. So I've downloaded the Brewmeister app and opened it up on my phone. All we need to do at this point is, first and foremost, Martin, put the little uh, hose into the top. So on the top of the Easy Dens is like a little two-way port where you can put this little uh, tube in, which is gonna just mean that the liquid can flow out nice and easy and not make a mess. We need our syringe. Martin, do you wanna take a 10 mil sample out of this beer that we've got here, which is the best bitter that I'm currently brewing? What I would say is this syringe comes with it, and this is an offset syringe. And that works best with this. Yeah, and the reason for that is that, well, as you'll see in a moment, Martin can put the sample into the other side of the port and not have it on the Wonka tool. So now, Martin, do you want to start pushing that through? So probably push about two thirds of the sample through until you see it flowing through down the escape tube into your collection vessel. So making sure that the Easy Dens is turned on, all we have to do to take our measurement now is tap the start measurement button on the front and it is connecting up and it will now take a reading for us. Almost instantly we can see the readings come through and on this beer it is showing at 1014 Martin. So you're almost at the end of your fermentation. I am very much so. Um, that was so quick and easy. Now what I can do is I can hit save on there and it will save it to either a default batch or you can create batches in there and save it to that batch specifically. You can put recipes in there, loads of other bits and pieces, but that's how easy it is. Now, taking a reading using Smart Ref is just the same. Now, up at the top of the app, it says Easy Dens at the top, Smart Ref over the other side. So we turn Smart Ref on on the little button on the front. Then we go and add a small sample into the little uh, sample chamber at the top of Smart Ref. Fill it up to the line, there we go. And now we go start measurement. And again, it's connecting up to the device and it's now doing our gravity reading for us. Now, this is 
beer that's got alcohol present in it. So we can see that the reading's off. That's because, as we said, this is a refractometer and it's working in a different way to a hydrometer. So we can see the reading is showing 1026, which isn't actually the gravity reading. If this was work that didn't have alcohol present in it, you would get an accurate reading. So now using these in conjunction to take our ABV reading is dead easy. We've got both of the devices connected onto our phone and you can see up on the Easy Dens section at the top, you now get this measure ABV um, button appear at the bottom. You tap on that, tap ABV measurement, and it's now using both devices in conjunction to take that ABV reading and present it to us, which we can see for this beer, 4.6%. Now that is amazing, right? I just love how quickly it gives you that reading and you know you can trust it. Actually, it's gone up to 4.7%, bonus. <laughs> now Martin, this is all well and good, right? And it's really nice having this data to look at. Why is this important? James, this is important to, you know, some home brewers, you know, lab equipment is expensive. Professional lab equipment in a brewery is expensive. Likewise, this isn't that cheap. Yep. You know, it's, it's still an expensive. It's an investment, right? It's yeah. a real investment. But it's such a precise tool. So this is really for those home brewers who are trying to really dial in and be as precise as possible get repeatability and consistency in their homebrew. It's not everybody, but you know, those homebrewers are trying to dial it in, be as precise and accurate as possible. Yeah. And they also like all the toys and the gadgets. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there are benefits, right? And you would have to scale it up over a long period of time, but the sample sizes that you need to do this, you know, we've taken like 100 mil out of a fermenter. We didn't need to take that much. We could have just taken a very small sample. Actually, what's really cool as well is if you're drinking a beer that you made maybe four or five months ago that's been in your kegerator and you've lost your records or, you know, you just want to see where it is now. Maybe it's like a mixed firm that's been going for a bit longer, something that, you know, is going to progress even after packaging. You can take those readings and see where it is in its life cycle of the beer. I mean, I'm looking at it from my point of view. I mean, I met the Anton Parr guys in Germany at a trade show. They showed us the equipment. I liked it. I'm kind of saving up towards it because I just like the simplicity and the ease of it. Yeah. You know, I'm, it can be quite annoying, like you said, trying to see the lines on the hydrometer, trying to look up and get the exact blue cl crystal clear line. We're not you know? getting any younger, are we, Mark? Let's not, face you know? it, right? You know, when I'm having to put my glasses on to try and read that now, this can take that away and just, you know, make my brew day a little bit easier. Right, let's talk a little bit about caring for these devices because like we said, they are an investment and they're lab quality equipment. So you need to be thinking about actually taking care of them, right? Like any of our other home brewing equipment, but specifically these are lab quality pieces of kit. So you wanna make sure you're looking after them. And actually it's relatively easy. So let's start again over with the Easy Dens. Now to clean it after every use, you need just a little bit of water, uh, distilled water, something like that. Dr fill the syringe up with some of that water and then push that through the chamber venting it all the way through and you know you can do that a couple of times just to make sure that you've got all of the beer out of the easy dens what i would say james is you can actually buy the spare tubes and the attachment piece as well so everything that you might need to replace you can also get hold of yeah. as well now the last thing you need to do is just fill the syringe up with a little bit of air push the water out yeah just push the water out just to try and make sure it's as dry as you can in there. Turn it off and then just dry it off. Store it somewhere safe. Now, it is built in a robust way, okay? It's got a nice sort of heavy duty case on the outside. However, it's worth noting that the inside is glass. You so, thought that it's gonna smash. Yeah, if you drop it, it you, you know, you're, yeah, you're looking at having to replace the whole unit, okay? So do keep it safe. However, we do have a handy rubber sleeve for Easy Dens in stock now, so that you can just give it that little bit of extra protection. It's a bit like a case for your phone. You know, it's gonna protect it from minor bumps and knocks, that kind of stuff, but don't drop it, okay? Now, Smart Ref is even easier because nothing actually enters inside of Smart Ref. So all you need to do is just pour the little sample out that you've taken. Again, give it a little rinse with some water and then dry it off. There you go. That'll do. Shake off the excess, dry it off with a towel, turn it off, store it, 
job done. Now it's worth noting that we also have the uh, silicon rubber sleeves for uh, the Smart Ref as well, so that you can wrap that and keep it protected just like you do with the Easy Dens. Well, that just shows how easy these things are to use, you know, and hopefully shows why we're so impressed with these pieces of kit. Now we totally get, like we said, that these aren't for everyone, but we've really integrated this into our brewing process here at the Malt Muller. Pretty much every brew now we're using these just to kind of reconfirm what we're expecting of our results. Yeah, and being able to take those samples during fermentation without having to sacrifice too much in the way of beer, you know, that makes a big difference for us. And just being able to log those results that are really accurate has been awesome. The thing that's really blown me away though is using both of these in conjunction. Now again, it's an investment, but being able to see exactly where the ABV is on finished beer or beer that's during the fermentation process it's really cool right it's a really cool thing now if you're using one of these devices or both of them at home we'd love to hear from you please hit us up in the comments below equally if you've got questions things we haven't necessarily covered here or things you'd like to know in a bit more detail please let us know we will come back to you and as ever it goes without saying if you have hit the end of this video and you're not already please make sure that you subscribe to our channel hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing here at malt miller hq and of course you can find us on facebook instagram x and tiktok have a great brew